This is CBS. Coors Cut, a non-alcoholic brew, tastes so much like beer, it'll fool the mouth. For the taste of beer, let the cut of flow. Your body knows the difference, but the mountain don't know. Or taste in Coors Cut, your body knows the difference, but the mouth don't know. Or taste in Coors Cut, your body knows the difference. Cut it tastes like beer, because it's brewed like beer. But the mouth <laughs> don't know. My job's simple. Buy the best quality meat and poultry I can at prices that make it worth your while. We call them Star Meat Buyer Specials. This week, all Star brand poultry is 50% off. Save on items like fresh boneless chicken breasts, $1.94 a pound. And fresh whole chickens, 59 cents a pound. You see, at Star, we not only trim the fat off our products, we trim it off our prices, too. Star Market, see what makes us shine. It's Toyota's July's Jumpin' Sales Event. Drive the car everyone's talking about. Camry XLE V6, the best car built in the U.S. And right now, our special Camry lease program makes it even easier to get into our popular four-cylinder Camry. Experience what Car and Driver calls one of the ten best cars for 1993. But see a Toyota dealer now, because with deals as good, you gotta jump on it. Toyota's got it. Hot cars, hot deals. July is Jumpin'. The ultimate safe sex on the next hard copy. 48 Hours. Sponsored by Ford Motor Company. It may surprise you to learn who, over 30 years ago, was the first car maker to build cars with seat belts to make safety glass standard. The first U.S. car maker to offer anti-lock brakes and who today offers more models with dual airbags than any other manufacturer. That company is Ford Motor Company. We're committed to making safety innovation an important part of quality. Ford Motor Company. Quality is job one. It's working. It's working. Hey, you know what they're doing in there? Red Lobster's got this enormous shrimp platter. You get to mix and match 30 shrimp for just $9.99. Choose a combination of grilled shrimp, fried shrimp, or scampi. Mix and match 30 shrimp. Now, only at Red Lobster. Attention thieves. Flimsy locks on doors. Fencing back is so high, nobody can see you. Easy access windows, take your time. It's the obvious but overlooked things that attract burglars to your house. To help make your home burglar proof, see your Allstate agent. You're in good hands with Allstate. Here's one way to make your all-purpose vehicle a true all-terrain vehicle. Here's another. Goodyear Wrangler GSA with triple traction, quiet highway traction, wet weather traction, off-road traction. It's like getting three tires in one. Wrangler GSA, only from Goodyear. The credit line has nothing to do with your value as a person, okay? Sure, Gold MasterCard has a credit line of at least $5,000, but that doesn't make you a better person. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. I mean, if knowing that no gold card is more accepted on the planet lets you relax and just have fun, then yeah, I suppose it could have some effect. And you can use your gold MasterCard at cash machines all over the world, so you can get money in drachmas or lira or seashells, so you can tip generously. Which any waiter will tell you is the true measure of how good a person you are. Gold MasterCard. It's more than a gold card. It's smart money. Can vitamins help prevent breast cancer? Find out the latest. Plus, the Home Shopping Network. See what's in store tomorrow on CBS This Morning with Harry Smith and Paula Zahn. She gets IV treatments at home. Cheaper than the hospital? Not if the home care company is marking up prices 6,000%. Eye on America tomorrow on the CBS Evening News. This summer, get into the cold. Tune into CBS on Monday nights for the coolest episodes of Northern Exposure. Sponsored by Miller Genuine Draft. Northern Exposure. It's a cool place to be. At Ford, we know the most effective advertising doesn't come over the airwaves. It comes over the back fence. Or a cup of coffee. When friends and neighbors share stories about things they like. Friends telling friends how much they like their Ford Escort helped make Escort America's best-selling small car. And the small car with the most repeat buyers. Advertising like that can't be bought. It has to be earned. Ford Escort. Have you driven a Ford lately? When you have a good breakfast, you don't feel like you're slowing down in the morning.
Next week is Grape Nuts Discover the Difference Week. Discover how Breakfast with Grape Nuts helps keep you going all morning. Energy all morning? Count me in. Discover the difference Breakfast with Grape Nuts can make. The fat-free natural energy source. There's just something about it. And discover a taste that's really hearty. Look for your dollar off coupon in Sunday's paper. It's time I did something good for me. Grape Nuts Discover the Difference Week starts next week. Are you safe from truck drivers on drugs? It's a very dangerous situation. We'll show you how they're beating their drug tests and who's helping them do it. A hidden camera investigation. Also, it's America's newest obsession. Oh, I wish you could be here to smell the leather. Home shopping. She got hooked. Are you next? Eye to Eye with Connie Chung, Thursday. This is Bonnie. She's moving into the building. Her wedding went down the tubes, but she's moving on. Besides, she just met Stan. It looks like love. And with friends like Holly, Big Tony, and Brad, life is good. The building coming soon. When your truck's as tough as a Ford F-Series, you can go just about anywhere. And now with F-Series Preferred Care, we're going with you. Because even if you run out of gas or get a flat in the middle of nowhere, you can call toll-free and get 24-hour roadside assistance. Free. No other full-size pickup offers that. Plus, there's an overnight loaner if you need it. Because at Ford, when we say we'll go out of our way to keep you satisfied, we really mean it. If they try something, then we'll take uh, action. Okay, 48 uh, hours will continue. This is CBS. It's morning at Boston Chicken. Fresh vegetables are arriving, and we're making our mashed potatoes from scratch. Throughout the day, we're roasting chicken that's been marinated overnight, sliding cornbread into the oven, and putting the finishing touches on our homemade chicken pot pies. So it's always fresh, and it's always ready at Boston Chicken. Boston Chicken, the freshest thing going. Take out a freshly prepared individual meal starting at just $3.99. Tonight, the one to watch is News 7 at 11. Dare we dream? The team that had seemed ready to hit the showers is hitting the heights. The Red Sox are a half game out of first. We take the pulse of the fans. Hocus Pocus. Salem witches say Disney doesn't have them in focus. We talk with the real thing about the way witches are being portrayed. Sarah with a review of Miss Saigon and Harvey with the sunshine in our future. I'm Margie Reedy. Join us for News 7 at 11. This is the minivan store at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Shop the widest range of models and options with savings on America's most popular minivans like Voyager, an outstanding family value. Get roominess and versatility, plus automatic air and driver's minivan airbag for under 15 one If you're looking for a minivan, any minivan, first see the experts who've sold over $3 million. The minivan store, only at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer, where real advantages make a real difference. is big slices of crisp apples, so it's thick and chunky. And months, and months, and months, and months. Find out what Harvey says. Weeknights on News 7. Siskel and Ebert, The New York Times, The Los Angeles Times, ABC, CBS, NBC TV, Newsweek, USA Today, The Wall Street Journal, Rolling Stone. Sometimes even the critics agree. In the Line of Fire is easily the best American thriller since Silence of the Lambs. Movies don't get more exciting than this. Gun! Clint Eastwood. In the Line of Fire. Rated R. At theaters now. First, it's soccer. Then, piano lessons. Oh, the dry cleaning. Get Tom at work. What's for dinner, Mom? Sometimes the extra value of McDonald's I'm late for ballet. is the extra time it gives you.
10, it's somewhat wilted. Stand by, 70. Attention heartburn sufferers. If antacids work, why do I keep getting heartburn? You know, frequent heartburn may be a sign of a more serious medical problem. Your doctor has treatment plans that can help. Frequent heartburn. Isn't it time you talk to your doctor? What would you do if you had cancer and believed that only one doctor could help? Thank you. And now the state wants to put him out of business. Street Stories with Ed Bradley, Friday. For their mother's birthday, three children plan the ultimate celebration. Happy birthday! But will her secret wish come true? Dr. Quinn, Saturday. And now, a promise from CBS's new Late Show host. That's quality with a capital K. Same Dave, better time. New station. Tonight, the Wonder Watchers News 7 at 11. A Dorchester three-year-old falls from a third-floor window. The child is lucky to be alive. Double-double toil and trouble. Salem witches say Disney has defamed them. The story is coming up on News 7 next. To hundreds of people, the Hood River Farmer's Market is a salad lover's dream. Right down to their dressing. Wishbone. Exciting new tastes like new Wishbone Sierra. A creamy California blend, bursting with the tangy taste of sun-ripened tomatoes. No wonder in a place where taste comes by the bushel, the dressing so many choose wears the name Wishbone. New Wishbone Sierra. You couldn't wish for more. Now get the freshness of Glade in an air freshener made just for your car. New Glade Clip-Ons. Clip on here. Clip on there. Clip on freshness everywhere. Clip on your favorite Glade scents with refills that freshen for 30 days. Freshness to your bar. Freshness for your car. With adjustable vents for just the right amount of freshness. Clip on freshness everywhere. New Glade Clip-Ons. Fresh from Glade. From SC Johnson Wax. Experience CBS News. She has a secret he wants to destroy. I want this woman out of our lives. Donna Mills, William Devane. Just give me back my son. The President's Child, Saturday. This is CBS. Here are tonight's winning lottery numbers drawn earlier this evening. Now stay tuned for News 7. The show that asks, how much do you really know about the silver screen? Brought to you by Orville Redenbacher. Farrah Fawcett already knew what she was in for when she accepted the starring role in the film Extremities. Why? On our 10-point scale, this question has a difficulty rating of 7. My baby loves Orville. She just can't stop. She loves her butterfly kernels going pop, pop, pop. She licks the popcorn butter and the popcorn salt. She's my popcorn lover, and it's all his fault. There ain't no way to stop a red baka popper. Pop, pop, pop. Extremities originally ran on the New York stage, and Farrah Fawcett gave an electrifying performance night after night. From WHDH-TV, Boston, this is News 7 at 11. Could the summer of 93 bring the impossible dream part two? The Red Sox take aim at first place. The real witches of Salem don't call the movie Hocus Pocus funny, they call it defamatory. And our top story tonight, lucky to be alive. A toddler survives a three-story plunge from a Dorchester apartment window. Good evening. Three-year-old Lovely Tunis is listed in critical but stable condition at Boston City Hospital. The little girl suffered head and chest trauma. Boston police are investigating the cause of the accident. News 7's Gary Gillis reports it's not the first time this summer that a Dorchester child has taken a terrifying fall. When police and paramedics arrived at 95 Washington Street, they found three-year-old Lovely Tunis in the lobby. She had been moved there after falling out a window into an interior courtyard. Basically what we know right now is that uh, we responded here, uh, someone falling out the window. Uh, the police found the uh, three-year-old uh, 
had fallen uh, from the third floor window. Uh, she had suffered a uh, head and chest trauma. The three-year-old was being watched by an uncle. There was also a 10-year-old in the apartment at the time of the incident. One resident told me she heard crying for several minutes before the child fell through the window, and police are investigating reports that the uncle was heard to yell at the child to stay away from the window. But according to the police, neither the uncle nor the 10-year-old in the apartment saw the fall. The windows and screens in the Washington Street apartment building are relatively new, unlike the screens in this Dorchester building where two children fell earlier this month. But like the children in the earlier fall, Lovely Tunis is expected to recover. She was uh, uh, conscious at the time, and uh, we just got a report from the hospital that she's suspected to survive, though she did suffer a uh, serious head trauma and uh, uh, some chest injury. In Dorchester, Gary Gillis, News 7. Two Pittsfield children are in critical condition tonight, victims of an alleged stabbing attack by their 22-year-old mother. Julie Bater is accused of stabbing her 15-month-old son Bradley and 3-month-old daughter Samantha with a 12-inch butcher knife. The attack happened last night. Both children suffered stab wounds to the chest. Bater was taken from the court on a stretcher. After disrupting proceedings today, a not guilty plea was entered for her. She was ordered to undergo 20 days of psychiatric examination. After being seen by the court clinic psychologist and a court-appointed psychiatrist, a uh, preliminary finding was uh, made by the judge that uh, Ms. Bader is not, at this moment, competent to proceed through the arraignment. A neighbor says he heard argument, uh, an argument coming from the Bader house before police arrived. Authorities were called to the home by Julie Bader's husband. The Berkshire County District Attorney would not speculate on a motive. Well, you can expect to hear the term megaplex tossed around for a little while longer. Governor William Well today suggested paying for a combined convention center and sports stadium by legalizing floating gaming casinos. It's an idea that started in Iowa. Several other states have followed suit. While opponents worry about the problems of state-sponsored gambling, supporters say it could mean $100 million a year for projects like a megaplex and the Boston Harbor cleanup. State Treasurer Joe Malone is in favor of casinos, but says they should be limited to waters off the coast to cut down on compulsive issue. gambling. We don't want people to simply feel as though they can drive down the street, walk into a building that's opened uh, 20 hours a day and play blackjack or play uh, roulette or whatever. They talk about the income. They never talk about the in indirect, indivisible cost. How many homes are going to be lost? The floating gaming casino has already made its debut in New England. The state of Connecticut began running a riverboat out of New London last week. Well, the one sure bet here in Boston these days has to be the Red Sox. Eric Clemens within a whisker of first place tonight. Absolutely, Margie. The Sox will be as close as a half game out, no more than one game back, depending on the Blue Jays' result tonight. And as you might guess, everyone around these parts is pretty excited. Fact is, we here at News 7 have packed the entire operation onto the Red Sox bandwagon and perhaps even marked the kiss of death with what we're unleashing tonight, the Sox Watch. Every night at 11 p.m., we'll let you know early on if the news is good or bad. This afternoon, Carlos Quintano made the news good. That's the green light. This first inning double scored Hatcher and Andre Dawson, and that's all Roger Clemens would need to register his second straight win since coming off that groin injury. Six in a row now and 21 out of 26 is converting plenty of former doubters. True believer, man. I have faith. They gave Butch Hobson a new contract. They're, they've broken the spirit, the bad spirit of old, and they've got the new spirit. Well, they did stink for a while, but this year they're, they're in second place right now, so I think they're catching up. Is this a, a recent infatuation due to their success? Well, or? I'm a fair weather fan. When they win, I come down. <laughs> well, you admit it. I admit it. Well, you're an honest man. Yes. Now, what do you think of the, the prospects for the rest of the season? I think they'll probably end up in first, second, or third. When they are losing, as a matter of fact, like a month ago, you, you, the people say, shove it. All of a sudden, they're with it. They want it. They want to be with it. They're happy people. The Sox were 15-6 and six while Clemens was on the disabled list. Now they're 6-0 and oh with him back in the lineup. We'll hear from Roger and recap the wild, wild AL East race later on in sports. I'll see you then, Margie. Can't wait. All right. Got to love these fans, huh? We'll be checked back with Eric a little bit later in the news. Supreme Court nominee Ruth Bader Ginsburg left no doubt today about her support for abortion rights, day two of her confirmation hearings. She endorsed a constitutional right to privacy. That's the foundation of the Roe versus Wade ruling. Abortion, she said, is a woman's choice, not the government's. This is 
something central to a woman's life, to her dignity. It's a decision that she must make for herself. Ginsburg refused to offer her views on capital punishment. President Clinton tonight mourns the loss of longtime friend Vincent Foster, while the rest of Washington wonders why the White House lawyer apparently took his own life. Foster is believed to have committed suicide yesterday in a park along the Potomac. No note, a weapon was found in his hand. Foster was the White House deputy counsel involved in the search for an attorney general and the Travelgate scandal. Those who knew him say Foster had been uncomfortable under Washington's microscope, but had shown no unusual signs of stress. I know why these things happen. And it is very important that his life not be judged simply by how it ended, because Vince Foster was a wonderful man in every way. Uh, and because no one can know why things like this happen. The president will attend the funeral service in Arkansas on Friday. Health officials say secondhand smoke kills about 3,000 non-smokers a year. Now the government is moving toward a crackdown, making it tougher to light up in public places. For months, the EPA has warned about the hazards of secondhand smoke. Congress is now considering a law that would make smoking inside many buildings virtually impossible. Under the proposed measure, smoking would be banned or restricted to separately ventilated rooms and all...